such. I'm like on a huge roll today. This is my third video in one day. So if you're wondering why I'm wearing the same outfit, it's because I'm too lazy to change. So yeah. Um, well, today I'm going to be talking, well, not today, um, this time I'm going to be talking about a Nicholas Sparks book. So if you're a guy that hates romance stories, that says they're too tacky for me because I'm too macho for them, leave right now because don't even bother watching this. But if you're a guy that's really sensitive and likes romance stories, then stay. And if you're a girl, well, you probably do like romance stories, so watch. I'm gonna be, today I'm going to be talking about The Choice. Um, the first book I read from Nicholas Sparks was Message in a Bottle. At that time, I actually thought that it was my favorite book from him. I read like three, four of his books. But now I know that The Choice is my favorite one from him. Because at the end, you're going to just be like so surprised. You ne you'd never expect what's going to happen. And... Yes, Message in a Bottle made me cry like a river. A river. The choice made me cry too, but of course not as much as Message in a Bottle, but it still made me cry like a, just a smaller river. But it's just so cute, and it's it's um, Message in a Bottle is my second favorite, but this one's just my favorite favorite. I I don't know why, but just I think it's because of the surprise at the end. That's really what's going to like capture your heart. So like all of it, like all of his books, the beginnings are kind of like slow and everything. A lot of books are like that, except for some. But Nicholas Sparks, because in the beginning he really describes everything, and it's when the two people meet. So the beginning is always kind of like slow and not interesting. But like starting when you're close to the end, that's where when it gets like really like oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, blah, blah, blah. okay. So I'm gonna start. <laughs> the choice is about Travis Parker and Gabby. And Gabby just moved next door, like their neighbors. Their, this is Travis's house, and this is Gabby's house. And they actually meet in such a funny way, cause her Gabby's dog gets pregnant, so she blames Travis's dog for getting her pregnant. Um, so then she goes to the vet, and well, yeah, I won't say anything, but it's so funny. The book is hilarious. Like just thinking about it makes me laugh. If you if you like comedy, you should definitely read this. You're going to laugh the whole time. Um, so yeah, so then they meet, and Gabby actually already has a boyfriend. And then like there, there's little feelings that start to come for Travis and Gabby, and their love is going to like make um, make Travis have to make a choice. That's really hard. That's why it's called the choice. And at first you're going to think the choice they have to make is something. But then you're going to realize it's not that and it's something much worse. And it, I, I can't really say much on the book because it's going to spill too much. So that's all you should remember. That it's funny, it's cute, it's, it's more than cute. Um, it makes you, um, well it made me cry. It's the choice, the, the choice they have to make, well, mostly Travis has to make, is just, <sighs> and at the end, it's just, it's perfect, I loved it, so, I really, 10 on 10, right, straight up, 10 on 10, so, if you, um, please, click the button up, subscribe, like, leave comments if you have any questions or comments, so, and see you next time, adios.